Next, we'll be working on this point of Google Docs, the next endpoint of travel tours. And I decided to make videos and lessons a bit shorter for you to easier digest that. So I will split that into two lessons. Today, we will create endpoint and then in the next lesson, we will take care of the filtering and sorting. So to create an endpoint, what do we need? Controller, route, and then also API resource. We will use API resources for all the API endpoints. So we generate make controller again prefixes api version one and then tour controller so that's one thing we need to generate and then also make resource php artisan make resource for that tour model so tour resource okay in the routes here we need to create new endpoints so let's duplicate that line and then travels travel record and then tours this is my way of specifying that endpoint and then instead of travel controller we do tour controller and again instead of putting that all in here i copy and paste that into use here and then remove it here as well also you may choose the client didn't specify what would be the endpoint you can do tours slash for example travel or something like that that is your personal preference but to me it seems like two level endpoints so travels specific record and then kind of child records of tours almost like nested controllers nested resources i will link that in the description below of this lesson you can take a look at more examples and also what clients specified if we open up google docs again travel slug should be how we find the record so normally here we would use route model binding so in tour controller let's actually create that method so i'll show you public function index which would return the list of tours but by travel so this parameter should be the variable name travel here which would be travel model and then laravel would automatically search for travel record so the endpoint would be slash api slash v1 slash travel slash for example id in our case it's uuid slash tours but in our case client requested for slug so we can customize that route model binding here by providing that the search should be by slug like this and let's try to return something in the index here return empty array for now so i will show you just how endpoint works so in the postman if we search for travels we have this list and if we copy the slug here and try to query the tours it returns empty array so it does find the first travel by slug so it doesn't throw any error for example if we try another slug and send it should return 404 status code with not found exception so that's how route model binding works alternatively you may specify that slug as a search parameter globally for travel model so you can go to travel model and specify there's a feature public function get route key name and you just return slug here then everywhere where you use route model binding in the routes you may not specify this and that would work globally everywhere you use route model binding for that model i personally prefer to specify it like this if it's just one case parameter because it's more visible to other developers in the future not hidden in the model and now let's actually implement that returning off tours which we can do by doing tour model where travel id equals travel id we need order by so in google docs client specify that the default order is starting date which is exactly what we will do so order by starting date and then get let's put it with a better alignment then in here there's alternative way to write this part because we do have travel model the whole object so we can use its relationships so alternatively you may write travel tours and that's it which would under the hood perform the same where statement so this is exactly what i would do deleting that longer part so this is our return and then we will wrap it in our tour resource so let's assign tours variable here and then we return tour resource collection of tours and of course instead of get we need paginate and now if we relaunch that api endpoint and return to correct slug 
Now we have the list of tours. The only thing we need is to specify the fields in the tour resource because by default it just returns full eloquent model which will override and return only things that we need. To save you some time I will paste it from my notes so it would be faster. We just return all the fields that are relevant to the front end and format only the price. The price is formatted already in the attribute so transformed from integer in cents to dollars and cents but we still need to format it in case that it's with zero decimals. So in case it's hundred dollars so it would still return with 100.00 and number of format is a PHP function not even Laravel. So now if we relaunch that the price is like this and then we have all the data that we need. So the endpoint is working and now let's write automated tests. As I mentioned already a few times I'm a big fan of writing tests immediately as we finish some feature. So we generate our second test file feature test file tours list test and it will have all the methods related to that list of tours. And again, your goal is to come up with the scenarios of what to test, what cases to assert. And I came up with three things for now. First, similarly to the travels list, whether pagination is returned correctly. Then second, whether the price is returned correctly with sense. And then the third one, whether the slug works, the route model binding itself works correctly and filters the records by travel slug. So let's implement exactly that in our tours list test. We'll remove the test example and actually I will paste from my notes all three methods again to save you some time and then I will comment one by one. Okay, so pasting from my notes and a few things need to be autocompleted by PHP Storm. So first we test the slug if it's correct. So travel method, we create a factory record then we create one tour for that travel and for now we don't have tour factory we'll generate it in a minute then we get the tours and see that tour id of that record is present of course for that we need to enable use refresh database and now let's generate the factory php artisan make factory tour factory for model tour with what rules Again, I will paste it from my notes to save you some time. Fake text again, starting and ending date are kind of related. So I'm randomizing it by day one to 10 from now. And then random float will return price from 10 to 999 with two decimals. There are a lot of methods inside of that fake and I will link that in the description below in the text version of this lesson. The documentation of faker with methods related to strings and numbers. So that's helpful. Okay, so we have our factory. And in our test, we have this method that I already commented. Then we test that the price is shown correctly. So we create the record with price one, two, three, four, five, and then assert that the fragment with exactly that price exists. And then final method, I will demonstrate you a thing from my notes, which I decided to remove from the final version, but this is how you can configure the pagination. So pagination by default is 15 records per page, as I told you in the previous lesson. But for example, if you want to make it configurable, easily configurable in one place, you may put it in config app, for example, paginate for tours, paginate for travels or whatever, and then get that record from the config wherever you need that. And then this is actually a bit more readable. If we take a look at the previous test with travels list test, this is 16 and this is 15. And people who don't know that pagination is 15 by default in Laravel, maybe other developers in the future, wouldn't really understand easily why 16, why 15. So to make it a bit more readable for those cases, you may make it a variable with clear name, tours per page. And then here you have tours per page plus one and you assert that tours per page is returned without the plus one. So I wanted to show you just as an example, but in the final version, I decided to stay with the original 16 and 15 here. And also I decided to change the current page to last page. So test not that the pagination exists at all, but that there are two actually pages. And now if we launch PHP Artisan test, will it succeed from the first time? Yep. We have two methods successful from the previous test and then tours list test with three successful method. If you want to launch the test with specifically one class, you may do filter equals tours list test like this and it will launch only that specific test file. That's it for this lesson. In the next lesson, we will, as I said, add ordering and filtering for the same endpoint.